Hey there, everyone. Welcome to episode 1074 of the Mike from Main Show, the place where we do daily interviews with successful online entrepreneurs. This is your host, Mike Thomas, and today on the show, we have Cyril Gupta on doing a private demo of a piece of software that's going to allow you to become GDPR compliant much faster and easier than ever before. Now, I know a lot of you have heard about this whole GDPR thing coming on May 25th. So if you've been kind of freaking out about it and wanting to make sure that you are as compliant as as possible, check this out. Let's get into it. Here's Cyril. Hey guys, this is Cyril Jeet from Technic Force. And today I want to talk to you about GDPR. It's a new regulation that's worrying a lot of people and rightly so because it requires a difference, a total change in the way you handle data. And today I'm going to show you WP GDPR Fix. It's a new plugin that we've created with an aim to help you be more GDPR compliant. And this plugin will actually take care of seven key requirements of GDPR. Seven very important things that you have covered because of this plugin and it's going to make your journey to total GDPR compliance very easy. So let's get started and take a look at how exactly it works. When you log in into WP GDPR Fix, you will be taken to the compliance screen where you will see all the things that you need to do before you get GDPR compliant. So you can see on the screen that these are the things that you need to handle, cookie concern, terms and conditions, policy, privacy policy, right to be forgotten, data access requirement requests, data breach notifications, data rectification requirements, all of these things will have to be compliant. You will have to set them up to be more GDPR compliant. And of course, at the top, you see one more option, accept EU traffic. If you want to refuse EU traffic, you don't need to comply. So you can actually do that with this plugin too. But I'm going to show you how to set up things to be more compliant. So the first thing you need to set up is the cookie consent, which means you need to inform every one of your viewers your visitors that you track cookies and you typically do if you've got any sort of Facebook pixel or analytics or any tracking code on your blog, you will be tracking cookies. So you need to inform EU visitors. You don't need to take the permission, but you need to inform. So when you come to cookie consent, you can set up your own message here. You can even set up your colors, what color text you want, what color background you want, where exactly you want this to appear. All of these settings are possible. And we even have a default message. So if you don't want to type in your own message, think of your own message, you can use the default text. And when you're done, just click on save settings. And let's make sure that it displays on all pages. And that's it. So when your visitor comes to the website next, they will see this screen which has your message there and the cookie consent. And if they click on OK, it won't be shown to them again. So this is how cookie consent works. You need to get the consent to make sure that you comply with the cookie consent requirement of the GDPR policy. The next is the terms and conditions setup requirement. You need to have a valid terms and conditions policy. You can set one up according to your own business's unique needs. And you just need to tell WP GDPR fix what your terms and conditions policy is. And this is how you do it. So first you have the option to make people see your terms and conditions policy. If they have not agreed to accept it, they will not be shown your blog content. And if you do that, everyone can be redirected to the terms and conditions policy first, even if they are signed in users or if they are unsigned users, people who are visiting your website for the first time, maybe, or who have not subscribed to you yet. Also, it does maintain the version number of the TNC policy. Every time you change the version number, it's going to force people to come to the TNC policy again and accept it again. Now, GDPR does not ask you to mandatorily show them the TNC policy before they use the website. So you can just keep it to know, have a valid terms and conditions policy, select what is your TNC. So select the page there. You need to set that up and when they accept you need to tell gdpr fix where you want them to go you can send them back to the page they were on and if you want you can just keep them on the terms and conditions page or if you want you can send them to the home page of the website whatever you want set it up and click save settings now in the compliance screen i can see that my cookie consent is set that my terms and conditions policy is also met so as you continually meet all the requirements as you set up the plugin correctly 
all the requirements will be met and you will be informed at the end that you are compliant with seven aspects of GDPR requirements. Now let's have a look at the terms and conditions policy as well. So here's my terms and conditions policy and at the bottom I can see that there is a checkbox to accept it and if I'm set to redirect, if I'm set to redirect if my TNC policy is not accepted in the TNC setup then I'll be forced to come to this page first, accept it and then I'll be able to further browse the website. So again we've checked on the TNC policy and we're taking to the home page just as it is set up right now. Similarly with the privacy policy it's the same setup you can redirect all signed in users to the privacy policy till they accept it you can redirect all not signed in users to the privacy policy too till they accept it and every time you change the version of the privacy policy you're supposed to change the version anytime you make a change in the text of the privacy policy the people will be taken to the privacy policy again and forced to accept it so after you have selected your privacy policy and you have selected where you want to redirect you can click on save settings and people will be asked to go to your privacy policy according to your setup. This time let's change it a bit. Re let's, let's redirect all the people who are not signed in to your privacy policy first before they see the content. So click on save settings and now when I try to browse this website right over here, I'll be taken to the privacy policy first. So you can see the privacy policy URL and I can see the privacy policy text over here. I click on accept it and now I'm taken back to the home page. So now it's set up to show the people privacy policy mandatorily before they can browse the website but it's not really needed even under GDPR so you don't need to do that only in some marginal cases you might want to but that's totally on you then you got the right to be forgotten and on this page you can actually set up how you want people to be able to request you to forget the data so what it just did was use the default text again and anytime people make a request to you to forget the data they will send this email and you will get a request that's logged in like this and you you'll be able to take an action with just one click of the button so if you click on this button for instance the data will be forgotten and they'll be sent a confirmation email telling them that the data is forgotten you can even see the requested data that they have asked for so you can see what they have asked you to change and finally you can delete the request itself if you want to and i'm going to show you how people make this request so forget data request this is how the form looks it will be a part of your blog you can just show it using a quick short code which you can embed on any page and that page will become your data request center and, it, and you know user request center people can file data access request forget data request or rectify data request using that form and here people can ask you to forget the WordPress comments WordPress post or WordPress user data whatever data you might have on them using just the email they just need to type in their email here and submit request and the request will be sent to you inside admin and they will be sent a confirmation mail asking them to confirm that they really want to forget that 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 they really want you to forget the data they have uh, asked for and all of that will be trackable through the little grid over here and you can set this up the message and everything the subject uh, admin email the from email and if any posts are deleted then you can choose what email or what user to reassign them to or if you don't want to reassign them you just want to lose them then you can click on delete post and the post will be deleted totally when people ask you to forget their data with you and finally click on save settings and that's all so then your right to be forgotten requirement is also set up correctly similarly data access notifications now when people want you to tell them what data you have on them they can do that using the data access form which is again a part of this this form that you have the user request form so there is the data access request but they'll need to just put in the email and submit request and the request will show up to you in the admin area so if you refresh you can see that i just filed the request uh, by my own id and a confirmation link was sent so if i if i uh, you know agree to actually access the data if somebody has done it on anyone else's behalf then of course they won't get the data so there will be a confirmation mail going to them asking them to confirm that they've actually requested the data that they've requested and when they say yes the, the data will be sent to them using the little notification system again we have the default setup for you 
so you can just click on use default text and everything will be set up and you can send them the requested data by just clicking on one button just like earlier it's totally hands-free nothing much to do just one click and the data will be sent to them in json acceptable format which they can use which they can edit and they can even return back to you or they can inspect in every manner then we also have the data breach notification system this is also a requirement under gdpr if there is any data breach you need to notify all the users and this setup this this segment of the plugin can be used to notify anyone of any data breach again we have default setup for you and you can put in whatever text you want to put in whenever there is a data breach and you can send data breach notifications just by clicking one button so click on save settings to save your message and if you want to modify it modify it and whenever you are ready to send a data breach notification due to any bad circumstance click on it you'll be shown a list of all the people who will receive a message from you because they are the users of your wordpress setup and when you click on send data breach notification they will all get the message from you about the data breach then finally there's a data rectification so people can actually ask you to change the data that you have on them again it's all set up for you you just need to click on use default data and it will be set up in one go when you click on save settings it's already saved and when people file a data rectification request with you using the form again it's all you know it's available to them using the rectify data request they can ask you to change whatever thing they want you to change they can make a put in a little message you know that this is what you need to change about the text that I have there or the comment or the WordPress post or whatever user data they might have they can drop a little message for you click on submit request and the request will be filed to you and you go to your admin you can see the request logged in right over here so you can see the data request right over here and you can see what they're asking you to change and finally there's the refuse EU visitors setup if you don't want any traffic from EU you can set this up you can click on do not accept traffic from EU countries and you can set up any page where you want them to go instead maybe google.com or any other page and click on save settings in my opinion this is an extreme measure until the time you feel that you need to do something else to be GDPR compliant and ensure 100% com compliance you can maybe do this for a few days while you do everything else you need to do to be compliant or maybe whenever you're making a change and you want to just send EU visitors away for a little while you can do that but in all this is a pretty comprehensive plugin it gives you seven key features for compliance and of course you might need to do a little bit on your own too depending on your unique business model but this will help you a long way by taking care of seven important things i hope you enjoyed the interview today with cyril if you are interested in picking up wp gdpr fix at its lowest price you're going to want to come back tomorrow at 11 a.m eastern time on friday may 18th you're going to be able to pick it up at its lowest early bird discounted price along with my special bonuses thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow